Hey everyone, back here from my pad here. I was in my backyard doing my normal morning rounds, checking on my plants, trimming up leaves that are diseased, checking on the leaves for, for insects, trimming up my tomatoes. And when I got to my last zucchini, it was real disease. So the first one looks great. Um, it has a little bit of um, fungal disease, which I've sprayed, but it, overall it looks great. Everything around it looks good. But when I got to this last bed, my zucchini plant was really chewed up um, and I and it had plus plus it had powdery mildew it does have a zucchini on it but the tip of the day is sometimes it's, it's worth it's, it's it's better to just sacrifice one plant to save the rest so this zucchini has disease it has powdery mildew and I have a whole lot of beautiful healthy vegetables all the way around it um, I that zucchini is still edible edible it's small, but it's definitely edible. So I'd rather eat the zucchini, pull up the plant so that I can save all my other plants. I'm also pulling up the last of my mustard greens. Um, you guys know how much I love my mustards, but they have powdery mildew. I've been battling it for the past several weeks since actually literally since Easter, I've been battling it. So I'm going to also pull the powder, pull up my mustard greens. My chickens absolutely love my mustard greens. Um, the mustard greens also has, I saw some beginning of aphid damage. There were aphids on the flowers and my chickens totally love. Well, one thing they love better than mustard greens is mustard greens that have aphids. So I'm going to go ahead and um, drop all these mustard greens in the chicken coop. They will know what to do with the bugs and the, and the aphids and everything else. They'll eat it all up. So that was the tip of the day. I just wanted to come on real quick to say, you know, sometimes you just have to let one plant go and enjoy all your other veggies and, and herbs. Otherwise, if you wait too long, it will spread. And before you know it, you'll end up losing your whole garden. And we wouldn't want that. We know how hard we work on our garden, right? We know how hard we work on our garden to get everything growing. So we want to make sure that we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Even my tomatoes were struggling for a while. But as you can see, I've trimmed all the lower branches. And you can see, guys, every branch is literally loaded on all my tomatoes. All my tomato plants are loaded. And it's, it's a constant battle. You can see I still have some yellowing leaves. But I stay on top of it. I keep trimming them up. And I keep making sure that it's you know the airflow is good. I keep putting them up on the trellis and I am loaded. Anyway guys, that was just a quick one minute or two minute update. Till next time, go out and plant a seed today. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.